Hi everyone, Michelle here from Dragonfly Spirit. It is Monday and I'm here to do your rune reading for the week ahead. So I have my beautiful board here and I have shuffled my bag of runes and cast them a handful onto the board. And as you can see, we have quite a few Elder Futhark runes and we do have a few women's runes in the middle. It looks like we're in for an interesting week, a lot of interesting energies coming up for us. Um, a lot of it is happening right here in our center, in our daily lives, where we have a little bit coming down from spirit and a little bit coming up for our subconscious, um, just nudging us along. So let's start, shall we? We're going to start down here at the bottom, and we have the rune Jera, or Hera, depending on how you like to pronounce it. It is pronounced differently by different people. And this is the Harvest Rune. So this is just a reminder, whatever you put into a project, a situation, a relationship, is what you're going to get out. So if you are putting in your utmost, you are going to reap the rewards. You are going to get what um, you desire. But it does, does require hard work. Um, as you know, when a farmer is farming the land, they are putting in a lot of hard work in preparation for the harvest in a year's time. So this is just to remind about the cyclical nature of life and how things change um, depending on what you put in. Um, so that's actually really, really important right now to remember that what you've done previously is what's going to determine your next few days, your next few steps. So just bear in mind that you can still change as you can still put in more of an effort um, because that will change the next particular cycle that we're on. At the moment, we're looking at the cycle for the week ahead. Here we have um, Elgis, and Elgis is all about protecting yourself against um, negativity. This could be about negative thoughts, negative situations, negative people. So while you are taking note of how much work you have put into a situation, a relationship, and you're looking to see what you could be getting out of it this week, you need to remember to make sure that you're thinking positively about the situation and not allowing negativity to control the outcome of what you have already put in. We have here the ruin of fate as well. And this just is a reminder that sometimes everything is up to fate. We cannot control everything, no matter how hard we try. There are certain things in life that we just do not have control over. So if we are able to um, protect ourselves against negativity and we think positively about what we have put into a situation we can maybe take our hands off the wheel a little bit and allow fate to step in, allow what is meant to be to happen. And here we have the Ruin of Infinity. And the Ruin of Infinity is mirroring Jera, and that just reminds us again about the cyclical nature of life, about how there is always an ever-changing, ever-moving sort of feel um, to our lives. I'm just going to see here what we have here. And we have Ewas, and Ewas is our connection to spirit. It is also um, all about um, how we connect to others as well. And um, the runner of protecting ourselves from, um, again, negativity, etc. Um, we have the rune of laughter here in the middle. And the rune of laughter is just a reminder just to have fun this week. You are putting in all this effort to try and make things work and try and put in what it is you're wanting to get out. But don't be so serious about it. Um, take your hands off the wheel for a little bit. Leave control up to fate and to the universe. And maybe just laugh and have some fun because it's right next to day guys here. And day guys is the birth of a new day. It is the new dawn. It is showing us that things can... Um, we need to be optimistic. We need to have fun. We need to... Um, have the courage to want a better life, to create the better life that we want. And so now, so sometimes we are, we are so conscious of the fact that we have working so hard and we are putting in all this effort to make a situation what we desire, that we're forgetting to enjoy the moment. And this is just a reminder to enjoy the moment and protect ourselves against any of this negativity that might be coming up for us. Um, we then have uh, Fehu coming up um, towards our future here. And Fehu is about abundance. It is about wealth. It is about sharing um, what you have. So this all ties in quite nicely together. So yes, we're putting in the hard work. We're protecting ourselves against negativity. But we are remembering to take our hands off the wheel every now and again and have fun, allowing ourselves to be optimistic about the future and then sharing 
what we have with others. Because here we have coming up from the past, we have Rado. And Rado is all about the journey that we are on. It, is, it's, it could indicate directly travel. So maybe you've been away for a little while and you're now returning home and you're now seeing how your hard work has actually taken effect. Um, but this is also something to do, could be your inward journey. So you've, you've done a lot of work on yourself and now you are able to share that knowledge with others as well. Radio is also about moving forward with your life and not allowing negativity to hold you back. And if you have um, been negotiating with anybody, if there is anything that you are be, you've been working on, know that the negotiations are coming to an end. And with um, fair who opposite radio like that, it just shows you whatever negotiations you have had going on, there is going to be a positive outcome from it. And yeah, coming down from spirit, we have Laguz. And Laguz is all about our emotions. It is about allowing things just to flow and not having that attachment to them. So it's not a case of do not acknowledge your emotions. It is a case of not allowing your emotions to control the outcome. So this week we are really are looking at what it is we are putting into a situation as to what we are getting from the situation and reminding ourselves to protect ourselves from negative th situations and negative thoughts so that we can have some fun, so that we can share in wealth and abundance with others. Um, the goose is also giving you the um, opportunity to take the practical steps needed towards the future that you desire, which is, again, acknowledging the work that you have put in previously and seeing what else is needed for the next week. I hope the message resonates with you. It is quite an intense sort of reading this week. Um, but I think right now, let's take note of the ruin of laughter right in the center of the board where it's telling us to take time out to have a little bit of fun. So no matter what else is going on around it, let's have some fun this week. Love, light and blessings. I'll see you again on Wednesday for your midweek check-in. Thank you. Bye-bye.